By 2025, they will be extinct in the wild if we don't do anything. If we didn't intervene, we probably be talking now to make it official that the species is close to extinction. We thought if somebody knows about how to keep that species, it's the nuns. They really believe in conservation and they love to do it. This vast lake used to be teeming with this species of axolotl, the achokes, but now the scientists studying them have set out traps to catch them, and this is a half kilometre long line with a hundred traps, and they're hoping to find just two or three that they can take some samples from. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah. You little guy. <laughs> So you're just getting it out of the yeah. trap now? Yeah, we take uh, some body measurements and we take samples from skin uh, in order to study disease. The pollution uh, of, the, of the towns that live around the area um, go to the lake, so it's really, really, really uh, endangered lake. Uh, I mean, the water quality and everything is, is, is uh, decreased. How important is it then to breed the achokes in captivity? Yeah, it's, it's very important because uh, if something happens in the lake if, and if the species is going extinct, we can be able to release uh, some animals to the lake to, to be alive again. We have 17 different species of axolotls. All of them, except one, uh, in some category and are in, in danger. In 1998, there were about 6,000 axolotls per kilometer square, and to 2014, to only 36 axolotls per kilometer square. Wow! So yeah. the, the population has been decimated over that over yeah. that time. Yeah. By 2025, they will be extinct in the wild if we don't do anything. It's a tragedy that they're struggling in the wild, and that's because humans have encroached on their natural habitat. And these things are so important and interesting because they represent the very first vertebrates to move onto land. Most people who use axolotls study them because of their ability to regenerate, and it's remarkable. An axolotl can regenerate almost anything. It can regenerate its brain, it can regenerate its heart, and so many people hope that we can identify some latent ability to regenerate in human tissues by studying and understanding how axolotls regenerate. Monasterio and Patscoro. This is a place that hosts a conservation breeding program with a difference. De que ellos piden así como protección, verdad? Piden cuidado, piden que que uno pues vea por ellos. Y yo creo que es precisamente lo que lo que estamos haciendo, ¿no? Cuidarlos, curarlos 
este, ver su alimentación. ¿Y esta es buena para la tos, dice? Ok, ¿y qué más? We came from Sacramento, California, and we just heard that this is really good for um, cough, and so we decided to come and check it out. Bronquitis y el asma. Okay, okay, gracias. Y bueno, también conocen la, conocieron las propiedades que tiene el, el achoque, tanto como alimento como medicina natural. Y bueno, empezaron ellas a elaborar este jarabe. Y bueno, esto se ha transmitido de generación en generación. I think this is the syrup. This is similar to the syrup that the nuns sell. But this is actually labelled axolotl medicine. So you can see a picture of the axolotl on the label. Um, Axolotius. And it's for bronchitis, asthma, and too much phlegm. This is real good. This is good, it's is it? It's for the cough. It's for the, and does it work? Huh? It, what, does it work? For the cough. For the cough. For cough. Do you recommend? Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. This too is good. Yeah. It's a different, but it's good. This too. is a choke one, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, well, ready, Alan? The skills and all these years of expertise can help the species. How important do you think the nuns will be in saving the species from extinction? The role of nuns is going to modify completely the game. Uh, they have a fantastic genetic pool of achokes. We're going to take now the DNA from the robin, the tongue. If we need it to bring new um, achokes back to the lake, they will be a fantastic candidate to supply animals to bring them back to the wild. Stimulate to open the mouth. Participate in research with the nuns. It's quite unusual. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you do in your life. At the end of the day, we try to focus on conservation, which is great. It's so interesting that the reason that the nuns were first associated with this species is because they make this, this medicine. People really believe in the, the healing power of this animal um, and that's part of its mysticism and its association with Mexican culture. It's such a strange thing to go from that to bringing this animal back from the, the brink of extinction. Bueno, yo creo que es importante no solamente para la comunidad de, de monjas y de la orden, sino para, pues a nivel nacional e internacional, porque es endémico. Entonces, de aquí viene su importancia. Si nosotros no nos proponemos en rescatar esta especie, bueno, pues nada más que se pierde de la naturaleza.